Hi, this is Made by Mommy, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a trophy charm using your rainbow loom. Now, for those of you who have different types of looms, I'm going to be set up in the staggered configuration, so you should be able to follow along. To make this charm, you'll need 11 rubber bands in the color you want the base of your trophy to be, and 43 rubber bands in the color you want the trophy itself to be. I made these with all Rainbow Loom brand rubber bands. These are the limit, limited edition metallic gold bands. These are the jelly yellow, and I used black for both of the bases. You could also use brown to be a wood base. I'm going to make the charm in this video using Rainbow Loom brand gray uh, to represent a silver trophy instead. So to begin, you take a single rubber band on the center peg and you bring it straight forward. Then you take two at a time, diagonal to the right, and two at a time on the diagonal left, and two at a time, straight in the middle, On the left, sneaky rubber band tried to pop off, and on the right side too. Okay, and we're going to do the same for the next row. Two on the left, two at a time in the center, and two at a time on the right. I'm going too fast for you, just hit pause and catch up. This chart is also available to download at madebymommy.com if you want to print it out to follow along. So the center one straight, and then on the left, we're going to put those diagonally, and on the right, diagonally. And then our two in the center. And then from the center to the right. And from the left to the center. If you wanted to just make a trophy without a base, you would stop here and add a cap band on each of these and begin bringing all the rubber bands together. I like the base though. I think it makes it look like a much more impressive trophy. So for that, I take black two at a time. I'm always asked why do I use two at a time? I find that it makes the charm in the end look much sturdier and less flimsy. The structure would hold together with just one rubber band, uh, but the results just wouldn't be as sharp. So you're welcome to try it. Two rubber bands aren't necessary, but they really make a better result. So we want to add one cap in the center here, wrapping around this three times. And we want to place a gray rubber band now around these three pegs to keep our trophy together. We're going to do the same around those three pegs. And now we need to add the rubber bands that are on the chart here uh, for the top corner of the trophy and the handle. And to do that, you want to take a single gray rubber band or gold or whatever color you're using for your trophy, wrap it around your hook three times, and then take two at a time, pull it straight, and pull that tripled over band to the center. A little bit of a tricky maneuver, but it always works in the end. 
pause if you need to to catch up. But this is what it should look like. I'm going to move some of these things out of the way so that it's more clear for you as I do this. Now you're going to take this band that you just created to the top corner of your trophy. And now we want to connect another pair of bands from inside this cap down to here. So we're going to put our hook in the center of that cap band again, all three. Take two more bands, pull them straight up like that. And then connect all of those new bands right around the peg below. So you have your cap here and then a band, two bands going this way and two going that way. We're going to repeat on the other side. Take your single gray or gold or whatever color your trophy is. Maybe you're making a rainbow trophy. Either way, take a rubber band, wrap it around three times. Then take two at a time. Pull tight and push that tripled over band to the center. Oops. Pull that tripled over band to the center. There you go. So it looks like that. And then put it over the top corner of your trophy. Take your two gray or gold or tro whatever trophy colors. Put your hook through. Catch those two bands. Into that same cap. So it looks like that. And then stretch this out. place around the peg below. And now we just need to add a single rubber band around these two pegs and these two pegs to be the handles of our trophy if you want those handles. If you don't want them you can leave them off. These aren't necessary to hold the structure together. They're just decoration for fun. And that's all your rubber bands in place. We're going to begin looping the rubber bands from the center here. Pull back with your hook, catch those top two, bring them around to the right. You'll see, I'm not sure if you caught that, one of my cap band loops came off. I'm just going to catch that again with my hook and put it back in its place. In case that happens to you, you'll know you can do the same. Let me do that. So I just put that back from here. And down to the left. All is well. left, center, and right. Left to the center, right to the center. Push down with your thumb if it's getting a little bit high. Coming in, we want to catch just these two rubber bands that are all the way on the bottom. And pull them straight. You know you got the right rubber bands when you see that nice V shape. Two rubber bands up to the right. Two rubber bands up to the left. 
the two rubber bands straight up the center. You can do the whole center now if you'd like. And then we'll do the left side. You may need to push these to make sure you've got a gap to put your hook in. And then the last one, catch those bottom two bands and bring them to the center. Yay! You're going to deserve a trophy if you make this design. This is not an easy charm to make. Here we go. Get those two forward. And that's bottom two. Forward again. And we're almost there. Yay! And finally, the last loop. I always design my charms for the last loop to be at the top center so that you can go ahead and attach this to charm bracelets or necklaces or keychains or your backpack with the final loop. So once you have those two sides on your hook, you're going to take this side and put it through the center of that side and pull tight. And now your whole charm is secure and you just need to be cautious not to break the rubber bands as you take this all off the loom. I loosen it from the top and the bottom and I always do the sides before I do the middle and that helps keep it all together. So that was one side. Let's get this side off. You can use your hook or your fingers, whatever you feel best with. However you feel you have the most control. And we take it off the loom and you'll need a couple of tugs. You want to find those tripled over cap bands to tug out for the top corners on both sides. They may be hiding inside right now. There they go. And you need to find your handles to pull out to the sides. And now you have a trophy. Congratulations on making such a great charm. Whether you've made it in gray or silver, gold or yellow, or if you've made a rainbow trophy, I hope you had fun doing this. If you did, please click like below and subscribe so that I know you want me to keep making more charms like these. And if you're planning a celebration, you may need a party dress. That's another video I have posted or a tuxedo to wear. Uh, I have a lot of videos online, including cupcakes and a pretzel and a heart and a donut, kitty cat face, hamburger, taco, and even a really fun mask. I hope you'll check out some of my other videos. And if you want to find out what video will be posted next week, look in my description for a link to my email mailing list. My email subscribers are very often given a sneak peek at what designs will be coming up in the following week. Thank you again for watching, and I hope you'll be back to loom with me again.